been down by Tower Bridge and Land Rover have launched the special custom built Defender to uh, carry the uh, Rugby World Cup trophy around on the trophy tour. I had the challenge of driving the Defender out of the inflatable ball and onto this dock uh, without running over former England rugby captain Martin Johnson and we then uh, Got the Web Ellis trophy into the back of the vehicle, so it's now ready for the tour. It's been, yeah, you know, it's been a fantastic morning. Hundreds of thousands of uh, people around the country will get the opportunity to see uh, the Web Ellis Cup clearly in our vehicle carrying it around the country uh, as a way of building the excitement and fan engagement ahead of the tournament when it starts on uh, September 18th. Before a tournament, everyone wants to talk about the end, what's going to happen at the end, who's going to win. You know, it's a long, long way, um, even from the opening kickoff of your first games. You can't call it at the moment, that's a great thing. There's only one thing to decide, that's the players and when they get on the field, so that's why we go and watch. For England in particular, they know what they've wanted. They've got that experience now, but they haven't quite got the continuity of form. So they've just got to relax, get into training camp, push themselves hard. You know, and if they get that right and they get on the pitch and they can relax and play the game that they always have done with a home crowd and a home advantage, that will see them. France are always the enigma. You never know what they're going to do. They could have won the last World Cup, but they didn't go in with, go in with any form particularly, uh, and they got all the way to the final and could have won it, so you know, it would be like them to get to a quarter final like that and win it, I mean you wouldn't ever put it past them. The USA actually, and the amount of money they're pumping into rugby at the moment because of the, the Olympics around the corner as well, I think you know, they, they, could have, um, they could have an interesting tournament. Ireland have obviously been on great form coming out of the back of the Six Nations, um, so have Wales. New Zealand and South Africa will always be up there as probably the favourites, top two, top two teams in the world. Yeah, I think South Africa people are talking about their group maybe being the easiest. Will they get lulled into complacency? P potentially, I think it's always good to have tough games leading into the knockout stages, but uh, I think they'll be ready when the time comes, they'll, they'll be ready to go. Any team that gets there plays out of their skin, as Ireland have found over the years, as Wales found losing to Fiji. Um, you know, teams come to perform, and as simple as that, it's the biggest stage in the world.